Um, my name is Emiliano Vincent. I'm from Nigeria, uh, National Environmental Standards and Regulations Enforcement Agency. Yeah, I have a question bothering me, and I've shared with uh, with some of the participants in the morning. Um, you know, for some countries that are heavily dependent on fossil fuels, you know, fossil fuels driving the economy, how do you get, you know, government buying, you know, to transit, you know, from fossil fuels to um, to nuclear? You know, what would be the narrative? Or, or as in the, the communication strategy, what do you think? How do you begin to get in you know, the government to think in the line of, you know, nuclear when there is abundant fossil fuel driving the economy? Well, I, I mean, of course, uh, I, I have the experience of Mexico, yeah. which, you know, it, it has one of the top 20 oil and gas companies in the world, uh, in which uh, a large component of the public finances <laughs> is coming from the oil and gas revenue. Uh, <laughs> so I, 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 I can speak about that particular uh, experience. And let me say that uh, this is, of course, uh, it's a multifactorial. Uh, you cannot focus only on one particular uh, feature of your portfolio. You have to do uh, uh, a multi-stakeholder uh, engagement uh, exercise to understand and, and try to be as comprehensive as possible to reach that support that it will be required if you are to change or transform your energy sector. And uh, let me say that, uh, for instance, in Mexico, we thought that uh, passing a reform in which we would be able to attract private sector participation in a, a, in a sector that was only allowed for the national oil company to, take, to invest and develop activity, it was going to be impossible. And that there were going to be uh, public demonstrations and uh, that, you know, probably we would face one of the greatest challenges in Mexico's history. And in the end, you know, part of the first year of the previous administration was to be engaged with the public. So sat with different stakeholders, with the legislative, with research and academic institutions, with uh, young people, with uh, different groups, and also understand what were the best practices in a particular field. And, uh, you know, in, in the end, of course, uh, there has to be a willing to change, uh, but also you need to feed that willing with what's uh, representative in your particular jurisdiction. And in the end, we presented the reform, and in uh, seven days, uh, there was the discussion at Congress. We had the support yeah, of two-thirds of the we Congress. Need to move on to the next Sorry. Question. Mm -hmm. And then the rest of the uh, state governments approved with the same exercise in seven days. So it has to be willing from the leadership, but also engagement from the different stakeholders.